how to calculate portfolio required rate of return under arbitrage pricing theory we will learn in this video so let's get started so here is the question in this question we can see that we have a two factors interest rate and inflation having its beta coefficient and expected rate of return okay you can see here and we have also the you know the expected beta coefficient of the portfolio and expected return of the portfolio portfolio okay and here the risk free rate of return is 5% okay so based on these questions let's calculate the let's calculate the portfolio required rate of return under this theory okay all right okay here we have a three step followed by pre presenting the given data calculation of required portfolio rate of return and conclusion and decision okay you can now you can see that i have partially done the first step which are nothing but it's a question part you can see that is this is the our question part okay and uh, now let's move on to the second step which is you know the calculation of required portfolio rate of return okay and it can be calculating by using the formula displaying here okay now let's you know calculate uh, the required portfolio rate of return okay okay so press the equal to sign and click here plus and we have to put the beta coefficient we have to put the beta coefficient of the first factor which is this one okay so click here times press the open parenthesis now we have to put the you know value of expected return of the interest rate that is this one minus we have to subtract the uh, risk free rate of return okay so click this one uh, press the close parenthesis similarly press the plus sign and now again we have to put the second beta of second factor which is inflation so let's click here okay now press the sub multiplication sign from your keyboard press the open parenthesis and now we have to select the expected rate of return of inflation so click this one press the minus sign and subtract the risk free rate okay now press the close parenthesis and now press the enter key all right we can see that we we got it the value 4.33 which is our required portfolio rate of return okay based on uh, you know arbitrage pricing theory model okay now let's move on to the third step or final step that is conclusion and decision in this you know step we can see that our decision board is showing that investment should be made in this portfolio why because because our you know expected rate of return is our expected rate of return of the portfolio is greater than our required rate of return of the portfolio okay so that this one and uh, let me tell you one thing here I have made this you know decision board uh, automated by using the if function you can see here let me show you by zooming in okay you can see this all right so guys that's all for now if you find it useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have any query regarding this video then please ask me in the comment box below see you in the next video signing off